What's going on everybody? Skippy here, Cycle Center, b and Denton. Here with uh, my boy Bryce Rindenbaugh. How you doing, man? Man, we're out here at Red Gap Moto. And this place is legit. Thanks, man. A lot of people, uh, a lot of people don't know about it yet, but uh, it's good to be a good little setup. You mind just kind of giving everybody a little lowdown on how it got fired up? Yeah, man. Um, I've always wanted to have a track. I've been in the industry my whole career, like 15 years. So um, decided I was going to go buy some property and put together a track. And it's kind of snowballed into uh, a quite of a big endeavor. So um, it's actually turned out really good. I'm excited for it. Uh, we're about 75% done on the moto track right now. Flat track's pretty much ready to go. So um, hopefully uh, here in the next few months we'll be having a big kickoff party and get this place on and rocking. So. Absolutely. It's pretty incredible. You know, uh, we were out here uh, early May and we just had a little turn track kind of laid out. It seems like you had just a good little layout and a little vision of what you wanted. And then, you know, here we are two months later. We got a moto track built. Uh, who built the track? Uh, it was actually a combination with uh, Brandon's Dozer Service out of Eastland that did uh, the pond work for me. Uh, guys that were professional in that kind of sense. Moved all the dirt <clears throat> and then I had uh, Greg Alberson from Game Moto come in. He actually faced everything, made all the landings, lipped everything and uh, kind of gave it the final shape. The only thing we're really lacking right now is the start straight, but uh, that's obviously in process, getting the gate and so on and so forth. But yeah, it's going to be that serious. We're going to actually turn it into a place where we can Host some race a couple times a year as well as uh, uh, have a little bit of fun with uh, you know some backyard racing as well. So. Absolutely, and Red Gap Moto isn't limiting themselves to just moto. You have a couple different other features up here too, oh, yeah, don't absolutely. you? Like I said, we have the flat track, which is uh, just shy of a quarter mile. Um, it's about uh, I'd probably say a three percent grade on on both ends, so it's got a little bank to it, which is nice. Makes it fun when it's a short track, so. That's obviously uh, was the initial start to all of this, and then uh, after we got that graded in, I was like, all right, well, let's make a motor track. And uh, in the meantime, we were building, you know, all that trails back there, so we got about a mile now of uh, good woods, twisty woods. And hopefully, we can get that to grow. We're trying to buy some more land so we can get that as well. Get that, you know, somewhere in the neighborhood. I like to see, you know, five miles, you know, like a, a two lap kind of gets you close to what they race on at ten miles. So that kind of that kind of uh, off-road section back there as well. So yeah, it's gonna grow. I mean, it was just really just a, a brainchild that is just kind of, like I said earlier, snowballed into something really kind of cool and I'm excited for it. So. Absolutely, absolutely. You know, and it's pretty cool being out here. You know, we, we got up a little early, tried to catch this beautiful Texas sunrise you have here. Oh yeah. Uh, out in Cisco, Texas. Unbelievable. Uh, had some good riding today. Yeah, got I'm some excited. good booters. I'm excited. Yeah, it's gonna yeah. be fun. Got the '96 chilling. Yep, yep. So yep. Uh, I'm, I'm excited, man. I'm super it, excited. It's gonna be a good day out here. You know, I look forward to it. I appreciate you having us out oh, here. Absolutely, and, man. Uh, absolutely. Once again, guys, uh, keep your eyes open and peeled for uh, Red Gap Motocross. It's gonna be absolutely incredible. And uh, Bryce, you've done a killer job out here. Thank you. Uh, and I tell you what, it's it's gonna be a hell of a show. So y'all stick around. Check some stuff out.